This video helps students in ISP 100, writing for university and beyond, locate sources for their genre analysis assignment. This is the second video of the series, so please watch ISP 100 Brainstorming Keywords first to learn how to develop your search string. For today's search, we will be using the library's central search system, Library Search, available from the UTM Library homepage. The search box on the homepage is good for simple searches of one or two words, but the search string we built in the last video needs something more precise. Let's click on the Advanced Search button to get started. This search form can look complicated, but just think of it as the web version of your keywords worksheet. Here's a quick recap of our worksheet. We're going to copy everything from here to the form, then look through our results. Each row of the keywords worksheet corresponds to one line in this form, and we can use the Add a New Line option to add as many extra lines as we need. Our concepts were ethos, Facebook, and misinformation, so we'll start with those. Notice how the word AND appears before each subsequent line. This tells the system that we need results that fit the criteria on each line. Next, we add the related terms and synonyms for each of those main concepts, with the word OR in capital letters between each term. On the ethos line, we'll add R H E T O R with an asterisk to search for rhetoric, rhetorical, etc. And on the misinformation line, we'll add disinformation and fake news in quotation marks. Make sure to double check that OR is capitalized, or the system will search for that word instead. We can also change our search field to title, author, and more, or we can limit our results by format, like books or articles, or by language or date, but we'll keep our search parameters general for now. Let's review what we have. We are searching for items that have the term ethos or rhetoric, they must mention Facebook, and they need to include misinformation, disinformation, or fake news. Now we're ready to select, search, and review our results. It looks like we have over 6,000 results. We don't have time to look through them all, so let's narrow our results with the filters on the left side of the screen. One of the most important filters is peer review. You need peer-reviewed articles for your genre analysis, so let's select that option. Now, we're down to about 1,900 results, and all the results have the peer-reviewed tag. But let's see if we can narrow down our results even further. Next, we'll filter the results by publication date. We already have lots of results, so we can work from recently published research. To do this, we'll type 2018 into the From box, then select Refine. Now we have about 1,500 results, less than a quarter of what we started with. Now we know that we're looking at recent peer-reviewed articles about misinformation rhetoric on Facebook. If we want to narrow our results further, we can use other filters, like limiting our subject tags to politics, populism, elections, COVID-19, fake news, and more. Now it's time to start exploring our results. We'll skim the article titles to find some that look promising. Here's an interesting one. Corona, 5G, or both, the dynamics of COVID-19 5G conspiracy theories on Facebook. Let's select this source to learn more. Below, we'll find an abstract or summary with more information. If this source looks relevant to our genre analysis, then we will look above to access it. We can choose Download PDF or Available Online to start reading. We can also print or email the article, generate citations, and more. If you're logged in, you can even select the pin button in the top right corner to save a source to your account for later. Take some time to explore the many features that are available in library search, or read the guide in the description below. Good luck with your genre analysis assignment! Don't forget, if you need help, visit our website to connect with your liaison librarian, or reach out to our reference team. You can chat with us online from our homepage, join our drop-in Zoom room, or email us at askutml.com dot utm at utoronto.ca. Thanks for watching.